Today we're going to make salt paintings. Salt paintings are a lot of fun because you can do an abstract work, you could make something um, creative from your imagination, or you could make something realistic. But basically you're going to be drawing with glue. And after you draw with glue, we sprinkle it with salt and then we get to paint it. So get your materials ready and we can begin. All right, so I've got my materials ready. You can put a piece of paper, a piece of cardboard, you could put a piece of paper inside a tray, or if you don't have a tray, you can use a cake pan or a baking dish. You wanna be able to catch the extra salt and not make a mess. So you will need a bottle of glue um, for this project. Glue stick does not work. Now you can draw a design first or you can just randomly draw with the glue. And you wanna have kind of a thick glue line like that. And you can see I'm dragging the glue um, tip of the glue bottle right on the paper. And that way I know exactly where the glue is gonna go. If I hold it up and try to let the glue out, it might go where I don't want it to. So I'm just gonna make an abstract design. You could even make just a scribble design if you wanted. Alright, so I've got my glue on and now I'm going to sprinkle the salt on. So I'm sprinkling it directly out of the salt shaker. And I want to make sure I get quite a bit of salt on each line of glue. All right, I feel like I got it pretty good. You don't want anything to look shiny anymore. So if something still looks shiny, it probably doesn't have enough salt. All right, now I'm going to carefully lift my paper and just dump the extra salt off really quick. All right, so I have my glue lines with salt on them and now it's time to paint. So if you have food coloring, Food coloring works great, but you have to put it on with a paintbrush, so it's a little trickier to work with. I'm going to use my watercolor set because I know a lot of us have that. I'm not going to use a ton of water though because I want my colors to come out bright. So when you touch the watercolor paint onto the glue and salt, it should spread a little bit. And you have to have the right amount of water for it to kind of spread. And this is really fun to mix colors. So I'm just really lightly, lightly, lightly touching my paintbrush to the salt. If I don't have enough water on my brush though, it's not gonna spread and I really want it to spread. Oh my gosh, it's so fun to watch it kind of spread. So if you're noticing you're tapping it and it's not spreading, add a little more water. Okay, so now I'm going to use some yellow. I should have used yellow first because I had clean water and you know I like to use yellow first, but I got excited and I forgot. So I'm gonna use yellow now and I'm gonna mix some yellow into some of the red. Gotta make sure I have enough water. So if I put it right next to the red and just dab it on, look what's happening. It's gonna mix a little bit with the red. And yellow and red, we can tell from here that yellow and red are making orange. Isn't that cool? Just really lightly tap it on. Now I'm going to try blue. No, actually I'm going to try red violet because I know red violet and red would make a pretty color because they're next to each other on the color wheel, aren't they? So I'm gonna try red violet and tap it next to some of those reds. Oh, that is pretty. Oop, got a little spot. That may mean I had too much water and it dripped. Now, see how I'm just very, very lightly tapping that. I have to be really careful. I don't wanna ruin my glue, right? So I have to be super careful and just tap, tap it on. 
In this way, I'm gonna finish my painting using all the rainbow colors from my set. I am done with my painting. It was a lot of fun. I loved seeing how the colors would blend and kind of stretch out in the salt. Um, after this dries, it will have a really nice texture, almost like sandpaper. So you can lift your painting out carefully. You could let it dry. And look at all this salt I have that I could use on another artwork. So I hope you have fun and enjoy this project. I sure did. I'll see you next time.